451. What are the contractor's duties upon receiving a termination notice? Upon receipt of a termination notice, whether for convenience or for default, the contractor must comply with the following requirements. Stop work immediately on the terminated portion of the contract and stop placing subcontracts. Terminate all subcontract work related to the terminated portion of the prime contract. Immediately advise the government of any special circumstances preventing work stoppage. Perform the portion of the contract that is to be continued and promptly submit any request for an equitable adjustment, a price adjustment marked by due consideration for what is fair and impartial, unhampered by technical rules the law may have devised that limit recovery or defense, for this continuing portion. Take action to protect and preserve property in the contractor's possession that the government has or may acquire an interest in, and deliver the property to the government. Promptly notify the government in writing of any legal proceedings arising from any subcontract or other commitment related to the terminated portion of the contract. Settle outstanding liabilities and proposals from terminated subcontracts and obtain approvals required by the government. Submit a settlement proposal within one year of termination. If the termination is partial, the contractor may submit a request for equitable adjustment to the government for reprising the unchanged portion of the contract to reflect, for example, new quantities or delivery schedules. Dispose of termination inventory as directed or authorized by the CO. The Corps can assist in making sure the contractor fulfills these responsibilities by communicating the status of these activities to the CEO.